very well. So now let us talk about the measure of center for the data that you collect. Measure of center. When it comes to statistics, when you are working with numerical data, numerical or quantitative data, you can use different methods finding the center of the data. So you have numerical values, you can either find the mean or you can find the median, or you can find the mode of the data. Each one of these represents the center of the data. If you have outlier in your collection, the center is very close to median. So if data are skewed, if you have outlier in your collection, median is a good representative. If you do not have any outliers in your collection, you can always use your mean. So how do we define each one of these? What is the definition of mean? Mean or the average is, well, you're going to take all of the data, all of the numbers in your collection, add them together and divide by the number of values in your collection. So it is equal to the sum of all numbers divided by the number of all values. How many values do you have? You're going to write it on the denominator. When you are working with population, the mean is denoted by mu. Population mean is denoted by Greek letter mu, like a sound of a cat. And a sample mean is denoted by x bar. Is denoted by x bar. So know the difference between mu and x bar. When you read a paper with an example, you see Greek letter mu, you quickly remind yourself of the population mean, population average. When you read your example, quiz, exam, paper, and you see x bar, it means that you are dealing with a sample, which is a sub collection of population. What is the definition of median? Median is a measure of center and it is the middle number. After ordering the data, the middle number is the median. For example, if I have A, B, C, D, and E, suppose these numbers are written in order, the median is going to be C. C is the median. But if I have 
For example, A, B, C, D, E, and F, the middle number is going to be the average of C and D. C plus D divided by two is the median. So be careful how many numbers you have in your collection. If you have odd numbers of data after ordering, the middle number is going to be the median. If you have even numbers of data in your collection, the middle number is the average of the two middle numbers. That is your median. Very good. And finally, we have the mode. What is the definition of mode? Mode is the measure of center which is repeated the most in your collection. The number with the highest frequency. Highest frequency. You look for the number with highest frequency and you say that, hey, that number is my mode. For example, one, one, two, three, four. The number with the highest frequency is one. So you say that, hey, my mode is one. What about this case? One, one, two, two, three, and four. Guys, one and two are both repeated the same numbers of time. It means that you have a bimodal data. Mode is one and also two. This set is a bimodal set. What about this case? One, two, three, four, and five. Which number is repeated the most? None. So you say that no mode. Mode, none. Okay, everyone, we collected the data about how many minutes, minutes students using their social media app. Okay. The social media apps, these are the data that we have. So we're going to use our Calculator, there is a 45 minutes as well. So let me add that. What are we going to do? We're going to turn on the calculator. Okay. After that, reset your calculator because there might be some um, functions that are already here. So reset your calculator. Go to second plus and reset all RAM. Go to second, plus, and reset defaults. So here you reset your calculator. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Click on stat, go to edit. So enter the data.
go to stat and then edit. Okay. Now enter this information on L1. L1. You can use L2, L3, or any other columns that you like. I'm going to just stick to L1. So the first number is 60. I'm going to enter 60, then go to 65, 75, sorry, then 30, then 10, then 75, then 150, then 60, then 120, next number, another 120, 60, 120, another 120, 30, zero, 75, 120, 200, 50, 150, 130, 150, 240, and 45. Very good. So we entered the data in L1. Now you go to stat, you go to calc, stat, then calc, okay. In calc, you select one variable statistics. So one variable stat. One var stats. Okay. Enter. Make sure your numbers are entered in L1. If you are using a different column, you have to use cell second two for L2, second three L3 second four, L4, and so on. Since I entered the data in L1, I'm going to use L1. Go to calc, and then it calculates the information that you need here. For example, you need X bar as the average. X bar, the average is 95.22. Is the average the average time? Well, if you go further down, what do you see? You see the minimum value, which is zero. Then you have the median, which is seventy-five. So the median is also is seventy-five. Using your calculator you get all of the information that you need to represent the data. You can go further down. We're going to talk about this later, Q1, Q2, Q3. We're going to talk about standard deviation and variability later. So for those of you who are going to use the online emulator, the link is posted here for you. Click on the link and go to 90 days trial. Even though it says it's for instructors, you can use it as a student as well. It's going to be free for 90 days. Enter your information, first name, last name, your email address, state, country, and then here you can select as the student down here, then I agree and submit. Then it's going to direct you to the link to download the emulator and install it on your computer. It's only free and accessible in 90 days. 